What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my Road to the Show player. I have 112 contact on both sides, 87 power on both sides. We have 99 reaction, 99 fielding, 84 arm, 99 speed. So this player is really, really good at being a leadoff hitter or an eighth hitter on your team. Just excellent on defense, excellent speed, has a lot of contact to hit the ball to the gap, and has enough power to hit the ball over the wall. I've actually hit a home run on Legend versus the good Randy Johnson, so he's got more than enough power to do that. He's really, really good in both like those like high altitude stadiums, something like Coors or something like a creative park with a lot of altitude and short fences. But he's also good on like a big park too because he can hit the ball to the gap. He defends his position like a beast. I really, really like this player a lot. It's a little bit different than the tool shed. I think the tool shed is fantastic too, where you get a ton of contact and a ton of power, especially if you're gonna do something like play a catcher or something like that. But this is just a really, really future-proof overall shortstop that's just excellent on defense, excellent speed, good hitting. You can even make it so you have more power. This is like a good one to use on Legend, in my opinion. If they dropped a card like this, it would be really, really good. Think about like somebody like Kettle Marte, but with a lot more speed and defense. That's basically what this card is like. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build them, exactly how I went through the process of making this. So first things first, you're going to go to the road to the show, and then you are going to make a fielding build. So that is what I use. I use a fielding build. Go to the road to the show and make a fielding build. For the roster, I just there's a million rosters out there that are like, go to the Phillies, go to Detroit. You might know what I'm talking about. Go to one of those where the computer is at a very, very low overall. You're going to want that. It's very helpful in your grind. And then go to the team that it says for you to go to. Once you're in Road to the Show, let me first show you my settings, all right? So for the settings, uh, for the gameplay, I do hit on Legend. And let me tell you why. First of all, we're going against zero type of overall type of cards. So I like to hit on Legend because I feel like if you hit on the lowest difficulty, which you can do and will probably speed up the grind, I just feel like it it ruins my swing and I don't want to do that. So when I do this on Legend, I actually get a little bit of, I don't know, quote unquote, work done at the plate. Like I feel like it doesn't mess up my swing. I feel like it keeps me interested. When it's on the beginner, I just, it's so... I personally just, I get very, very bored like that. Like, I cannot do that. I need a little bit of, like, something to do with the game. So I like to I like to keep it on Legend. What I would say that it feels like is it feels like it's on about All-Star because the players, that, the cards that you're playing against are so bad that you're going to be able to still, like, crush the ball on this. Like, so keeping it on Legend is really, really... Uh, what I like to do you can lower the difficulty to make it easier for you But I personally like to do it on legend and if I'm showing you what I did to grind my player I did it on legend as far as mode specific Now what you want to do for this is you want to make sure that you have the player lock button mapping on classic You also I turn off the showtime opportunities uh, For the fielding opportunities do some so if you want to get a lot of XP Make sure you have the player lock fielding opportunities on some. This will make it so like when it's hit to you, you throw it to first base. And because they have zero speed or like no speed at all when they're running to first base, turning double plays and throwing them out is very easy. You're going to get a lot of XP. Like I feel like they turned down the XP for like, you know, just hitting only. But for the fielding, I'm sure for the pitching, if you made a pitcher, you can get a ton of XP that way. And it's really the fielding that gives you a lot of XP, and it's super, super easy to do. Uh, for the base starting interface, I do recommend that you use buttons for these as well, so you don't have to like always push up or down on the left stick to make them go forward and back. It's nice to be able to hit R2 and L2 to make them go uh, for the base running. And for the base running opportunities, you go to none, and I'm going to show you how to max out your speed without having to do any stolen bases or anything like that. So I definitely recommend that you go with all of these settings. Now the next thing that you're gonna wanna do, I'm a little bit later into my career, so it's not as important for me now, but for the stadium assignment, this is very, very important. 
Now, what uh, you could use a created player stadium, or, you know, a created stadium, but I really don't think it's that important. But for all of your home games, I recommend that you do this. So for your home games, you're going to set the stadiums like this. You're going to go to the classic stadiums and you're going to play at polo grounds. Now, let me explain why you would want to set all of these to polo grounds. When you hit the ball into the gap in polo grounds or over the outfielder's head, now keep in mind they do not have a lot of speed. When you hit it over their head and it, with as much speed as this player has, you can get a bunch of inside the park home runs. When you get the inside of the park home runs, you build up a ton of speed. You're going to get all of the speed really, really fast by doing that. But I don't want to play all of the games there. I just want to play all of our home games there. So all of, like half of our games, all of our home games, we're going to set those all to polo grounds. That way we never have to steal any bases to get our speed up or anything like that. And we can get all of our speed just by hitting it over their head and basically going for inside the park home runs while they chase after the ball. So go through for every single team. It doesn't matter if they're in the AL or the NL. Just go through one time and set them all to Coors Field or set them to uh, Laughing Mountain. Uh, that's going to be your best bet. And then all of your home games play at Polo Grounds. So you're going to be able to get like the home runs from the max elevation uh, when you're on the road. And then you're going to be able to play in Polo Grounds and get a lot of inside the park home runs and hit it over their head and all that kind of stuff uh, there. And get your speed up while you get your power up. All you really need is about 50, 60 power anyways to smash the ball uh, for whatever reason in Road to the Show. So I recommend that you do that as well. Now the next thing that you want to do is let's take a look at my ball player build itself. I use the Fly Chaser. There's a couple options that gave me the El Mago and uh, also the Wizard. But I choose the Fly Chaser. That's the one I like the most. It's kind of the most balanced across the board. And then I have Contact for all of them. Contact 1, 2, 3, and 4. You could switch this up, you know, based on your own preferences. That's just, I've kind of thought about maybe taking two of them off and putting on more power. Something like that. I also have, like, Clear for Takeoff. But this one has been pretty much the one that I like the most because you get like the giant PCI from all the contact. So I've been enjoying uh, using that. As far as like looking at the equipment, uh, my equipment with this player, you don't even need to like mathematically go number by number to have all of the equipment that you want. You actually can get a little bit swagged out for lack of a better term on this player. So I like when all of my, ga my gear matches. So I went with the Nike sunglasses. They're good enough for me. That, that works. Uh, I went for the fielding glove. It's the one thing I have that it's not Nike. It is the Alex Bregman. If you see over on the right, it talks about like Alex Bregman. This glove gives me a lot of arm strength, so that's the one that I use for that. For the elbow guard, why not just pick one up? I know it's a little bit of discipline and durability, but why not just pick one up along the way? I'm get the Nike uh, elbow guard. I know it doesn't do much, but why not get it? I don't have the leg guard, the chest protector, or the catcher's max because I'm not a catcher. Shin guard, we're rocking with the Nike shin guard. Just a gold. Pick it up. Just get a little bit of uh, batting clutch and durability. Doesn't do much of anything, but might as well pick it up anyways. For the cleats, I go with the Mike Trouts 12-12. Solid enough. We already have max reaction, so we're not worried about that. We get a ton of speed. The ceiling is what it is, and they look. I just think they look cool. For the socks, make sure you do the Jackie Robinson program in Diamond Dynasty. Go into Diamond Dynasty, go to the programs. I'll just show you that real quick if you're not aware of that. If you only play Road to the Show, let's go check this out real quick. But you're going to want to do this because you get a bunch of free gear. So you're going to go into Diamond Dynasty, and then you're going to go over to play, and then go to the programs here. Like I'm in the way, but go to, the pro go to programs. Go to other programs, and then what you're going to want to do is do the Jackie Robinson Day. Go through and do this. All you have to do is tally one hit, I believe, and you get all this stuff. You get the free socks. You get the free back grip, and you also get this bat that you don't necessarily need. You get this card as well, but make sure you do that because you're going to get the free socks and the free back grip. So that's something that you're really going to want to do uh, almost no matter what. All right, so we got those socks from the Jackie Robinson thing uh for the bat i use the shohei otani bat and if you do not have this one from the pre-order i'll go and show you the one that you want to get 
If you don't have the Shohei Otani bat, you're going to want to save up and get this one right here because it gives you plus nine power and plus seven contact. It's even You could even consider using this one over the Shohei Otani bat. Honestly, it would give me a little bit more power. I think that's a really, really solid bat. To me, this is the best. It's not even just to me. This is the best bat in the game outside of the Shohei Otani bat. And then the bat grip, we got it for free from that getting one hit with Jackie Robinson. Uh, the batting gloves... I use these trout ones as well. Six contact, five power. Plus, it just fits with our Nike vibe that we got going on. That's one of the things I like about this player. You don't have to have a bunch of mishmash gear. Your player can look real cool. So, I really like that about it. Wrist guard, might as well pick up the gold. Wrist guard, get a little bit of discipline and durability. And it looks nice. Ritual item, legendary call. It's a must. Plus, eight power, plus, eight contact. Especially for our player when we have a ton of speed and fielding. We should go get Legendary Call, which we are going to do there. And then definitely, definitely, definitely get the compression sleeve. This gives you plus five to your arm strength, which is really, really important for our players too because we need a little bit of the arm strength. And then uh, that's basically all the gear that I have on my player. Now, as far as my appearance, I am 5'10", 158. For my stance I use, I use Tommy Edmonds stance. I will link a video at the end of this video with all the best swings in MLB The Show 22. Uh, the reason I make them 5'10", and I talk about it in this video, is if you find a swing that you like, personally, my favorite one this year is Tommy Edmonds swing. He is 5'10", 185. I made him 5'10", 158 because, like, for some reason when he's 185, he doesn't, his player model does not look like Tommy Edmonds. So, I had to drop the weight way down, but that's how I get him to look like that. So, if you really like a swing, like you're using a card that you really, really like, that's when I recommend you make the player, like, the same height and weight as that. So, when you're hitting, it's, like, the same thing. So, that's something that I recommend, and I will link the video at the end of it, or at the end of this, that has like all the best swings in the game. And it's not only just my opinion with the best swings, you can always go into the comment section as well, and there's going to be a lot of people commenting their favorite swings. So, like, maybe if you don't like any of my ideas, you can always check out the comment section. From this point forward, I mean, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go through, you're going to play every single game that you play. When you do the drills, uh, the main things that you're going to looks like I'm going to a triple A or something like that at this point. I'm pretty much done with this player, but when you do the drills, this is actually perfect that it worked out like that. When you do the drills, uh, obviously you don't want to do bunting. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to focus on this, but when you do these drills, they're really, really important. You don't have to do the actual drill part of it. You can always skip. You're pretty much going to go up like one every single time. Focus on your contact and focus on your power. Those are the two things that you're going to really need to grind with this player. The fielding, the speed, all that stuff's going to be very, very easy. You just need to focus on these things, go through all of them. Usually it's either going to be in batting cage or practice field, sometimes in training facility, but focus on doing the contact and focus on doing the power. Those are the two things you need to look for and always, always go for. The rest of them, you just can let the game, you can just play the games to get those done. At this point for me, though, I have pretty much everything here, so there's nothing really left for me to grind on this player. So I feel like with that said, like I will go for something like stealing and base running aggressiveness, but go for the contact and the power. And then you can just always skip the, the drill. Anyways, that's how I built my road to the show player. Let me know if this helps down in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions, uh, I will read that and get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.